And this is an exciting study based on science done here in the Cantler lab. It basically demonstrates that patients um, with tumors who have a KRAS or BRAF mutation, these tumors are sort of hungry and dependent on, on sugar, glucose. So the tumors overexpress a protein that allows glucose to enter. It turns out that vitamin C, when it gets oxidized outside the cell, enters in the same exact um, receptor. And that actually leads to the buildup of free radical oxygen species, which then leads to killing the cell. This trial is sort of a complete translational work to verify that in KRAS or BRAF mutant tumors, vitamin C may have some activity. Um, vitamin C is given three to four times a week over a two to three hour infusion. Um, and, you know, patients actually seem to be doing really quite well with it because it's a vitamin after all. The eligibility criteria include patients who are who have a KRAS or BRAF mutation and who have progressed on at least one line of standard therapy. Um, and also, we have a, another cohort where patients might get vitamin C for a brief period of time, two to four weeks, before surgery. So if you have a GI cancer, preferentially colon cancer, pancreatic cancer, or even a lung cancer, um, you might be eligible for the preoperative vitamin C portion. Um, but the other portion is for metastatic patients that have progressed on first-line therapy. So what differentiates this trial specifically is that it targets the KRAS protein. So about 40% of colon cancers have a mutation in KRAS, and that's been very challenging to target. We're in an era of targeted therapy where we want to identify molecular mutations and then leverage those to find better treatments. 